Hi everyone, my name is Danny Jones and I'm a senior executive sales leader. I live in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and I have been a consultant with Norwex for almost 10 years. I'll be celebrating my 10 year anniversary in September of this year. Um, I want to congratulate you uh, for watching this training. Um, anybody who is at all serious about this business should be investing a little bit of time on a regular basis to learn new skills, um, get new ideas. And so uh, good for you for jumping onto this team training this month and um, learning something. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, summer and how to have a successful summer, both with your business and with your fun. So summer brings on some new schedules and new challenges. Um, we have kids at home if we you know, have children, so that changes things. Um, most of us take vacations or do weekend getaways and just have a whole different set of um, activities that we do in the summer. So that can kind of disrupt our schedules and you might be tempted to just sit back and kind of take a break over the summer and step away from your business. But I'm here to talk to you about how you can be successfully uh, intentional about your summer time and still have lots of time for all the fun and other requirements that you have during these months. Um, I actually am getting a lot of these ideas from Kristen Voss, and she's going to be a speaker at our upcoming conference. Um, many of you are probably very familiar with her already. She has a great podcast series that's free to watch. And um, I attended one of her online trainings recently that was all about having a successful summer and having uh, your business growing and, um, and uh, not letting things go stagnant. So I just want to... Um, help you realize if you don't know this already that whatever you do or don't do during these current days this week will affect your business 60 days to 90 days from now. So if you take a break for the rest of the summer and then all of a sudden Labor Day comes and you're thinking, oh, time to get back to business, it's gonna take you 60 to 90 days to get up and running. So we wanna prevent that from happening um, by being very intentional with a plan for our summer months. And so, um, you know, a lot of times people talk about how you can just put this business, work it in your, into the nooks and crannies of your life. And you can, but um, I find, and I think others probably find too, when they do that, they're being reactionary instead of intentional. And every time the phone dings, you're picking it up to look and you're supposed to be watching a movie with your family and you're texting or doing those things because you're trying to work it into those nooks and crannies. And pretty soon those nooks and crannies work their way into your personal life. And so we want to avoid that conflict so that you can still have fun with your family, fun with your own activities and, um, and keep your business going too. And to do that, you need to have a plan and you need to be very intentional. So Kristen's um, recommendations are to work your business five days a week minimum for 60 minutes. Now you might not have a full hour where you can dedicate to that um, but if you could do two 30 minute time slots, um, you could break it up that way. And um, that might not seem very much, but if you're very, very intentional about that time where you're seriously working for 15 minutes instead of scrolling Facebook or answering other phone calls or um, getting snacks off for the kids or whatever, you can get a lot done in that 60 minutes. And then you can feel comfortable setting aside your business and attending to everything else you want to do. And the next day you pick up and you respond to questions, you respond to customers, um, you place orders, whatever it is that you need to do the next day. Uh, but you can separate your fun and your personal life and your family life from your business a little bit more clearly so that you're not robbing one or the other. Um, so one thing that, um, I would suggest that you do is get out your calendar if you haven't already, whether it's a paper calendar or your um, computer or your phone or wherever you keep track of stuff and make sure you have everything written in there of what you're doing this summer. So hopefully you have some fun activities planned. If you don't, I suggest you do. But most of us have activities planned, whether it's a trip, uh, a weekend to the lake, um, maybe you have T-ball every Tuesday night, but put in your big events, Put in your weekly events, 
um, whatever those happen to be. And it might be work. Um, I know many of you work outside the home, so you've got those hours to, to clock in or to um, put into your calendar. And then also make a time for some things that you want to do, but maybe aren't scheduled yet. So we want to make sure we're having fun. Otherwise, you know, we get burned out. So you can't be working all the time. But if you make your business time non-negotiable, then you'll get work done during business time. And then you can go have the fun. So a lot of us join Norwex uh, in this business model for the flexibility. But flexible does not mean negotiable. So if you want to have a business, you have to work, pure and simple. It doesn't just happen uh, by not working. So flexible means being flexible about when you work, but not if you work. So you should make your business time non-negotiable. And you're going to have to, you know, do some planning to do that, whether it's uh, kids swapping, if you have children at home, talking to a spouse or partner, if you want to say, I'm going to work these hours, these days, um, and make sure that everybody's on board. Um, and then just stick to it as best you can. And if something get a curveball thrown at you, then you have to adjust, obviously. But again, if you're planning for it, then you're going to be more likely to follow through on that. One thing I really like about um, Kristen is that she teaches us to be um, implementing our strategies in an imperfect and messy way. So if you're waiting till you have everything down pat and know exactly what you're doing and how to do it perfectly, you're never going to do it. So just jump in and do things, whatever it is, because some action is better than complete inaction and just um, trying to make everything perfect. So um, we want to, as Norwex consultants, in my mind at least, a lot of what we do is about connecting with people, educating people, and serving people. And you know, in that process, we're doing parties, we're selling product, we're helping people join the business, but it's all, all those things come from connecting with others, educating others, and serving others. So if you go at it from that approach, I think that can help guide what you do with that time that you're spending in your business. Um, and then I want to suggest, too, that you don't expect overnight results. That can be discouraging when you, you know, like, I'm going to, you know, put a post on Facebook and all of a sudden I'm going to have all these sales. It doesn't work that way. You have to build relationships with people. You have to build trust with people. And you just have to keep at it long term. Remember, I said I've been doing this almost 10 years and then you're going to see results. It might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen next week. But what you're doing now is going to affect what happens in a couple of months when fall comes around. So you want to show up for yourself. You want to show up for your business. And you want to show up even when you don't feel like it. So that's important that you um, commit to yourself that way and commit to your business that way. So I'm just going to give you a couple of ideas how, how you might spend that 60 minutes. So it should be 60 minutes of income producing activity. And I'm taking these again from the training that Kristen Boss did. And she divided it into four categories. And there's a little overlap, honestly, from what I'm seeing of her ideas. And literally set a timer and do 15 minutes of each of these each day. Um, and I'm going to give you some ideas of the different activities you could do in these different categories. But you pick one to, to do today. And then tomorrow you pick one from each category. So you're not doing all the things every single day, because that would be a lot more than 60 minutes. So um, her categories of where we could work is to connect, to ask, to engage or nurture, and to serve. So connecting, 15 minutes of that, um, making some phone calls, getting on social media, and very intentionally interacting with people. But be a human. You know, we're not spammy. We're just like looking at people's profiles wishing happy birthday to customers, um, commenting on their kid pictures, those kinds of things where we're just connecting, okay? Then you wanna spend about 15 minutes doing the ask, asking for something. And you're gonna directly ask people, um, so individually asking people to host a party, for example, or to join your business, maybe to try a sample, maybe to try a, user kit or a try, or a try it kit if you have one to loan out. Um, and I think that if we ask people individually and directly, it's much more effective than just, again, a post. You can do a post if you want to, but a Facebook message, 
on Messenger or a text or a phone call, you know, pick up that phone. Um, and if you don't want to pick up the phone, uh, you could even do Facebook Messenger. You can do that by voice or you can do a text by voice. I think connecting with people by voice, we can um, express enthusiasm and excitement and just give that interaction. And I think it makes us connect better that way too. So consider doing voice messages if you're um, going to be connecting that way. Another area you can uh, do some of your work for about 15 minutes a day is to go live or to engage and nurture. So it's about um, educating and serving here. And so maybe you go live in your VIP or customer group and maybe do a product education, or you might possibly want to talk about the business opportunity. Um, you could send Facebook messages, or emails, or texts. And again, I would just say using your voice, doing follow-up. And then serving, um, you could do that. This is the fourth category by doing a party, doing online parties, doing in-person parties. Obviously that's more than 15 minutes in one clump, um, unless you're doing fast Facebook Express or Messenger Express parties. But for the most part, they take more time. But if you kind of consider that's your 15 minutes throughout the week for five days, um, do that, follow up with customers. Um, so it is intentionally interacting, connecting, asking, serving, and spending time dedicated to that without distractions as much as possible. And that can take some creativity, but in doing so, you could condense your work day to 60 days, your business, your Norwex business work day to 60 minutes um, per day. And five days a week is great. We don't have to work seven days a week necessarily. And let's say you have work planned for Wednesday and you get sick or whatever happens that um, it blows up your plan. Well, you've still got two extra days where you weren't planning to work that you could move those work that work hour to another day. Um, so just really encourage you to plan the fun, schedule the fun, but also be very intentional about your business and um, work on your business several days a week for an hour at a time or two 30 minute chunks of time and um, see how that brings you results. Some now, but also leading into the fall when we have new products, we have our biggest selling season is in the fall. So you wanna be setting yourself up for that so you're not starting from ground zero come the fall. And I wanna just also put in a little suggestion that there's a free podcast that you can listen to from Kristen Boss. It is called Purposeful Social Selling. Purposeful Social Selling. You can find it wherever you get your podcast to download. I have not listened to a ton of them, but the ones I've listened to, I've learned something from every one and they're, you know, anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 minutes, I think. So that would not be your 60 minutes of income producing activity. But if you can find time to download some podcasts of Kristen's, I strongly um, recommend listening to what she has to say. She is not about the hustle. She's about sustainably working your business and um, avoiding burnout and long-term success, and a lot of work on mindset, which is a lot of what our business is about. So I hope this is helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.